It's one pest that has persisted in the Permian Basin. Feral hogs, they're known for digging up and destroying property. Not to mention they're not too nice. Some will charge you and their population keeps growing. But Jason Freund has some information on what's being done to hold them off. Jason. Well, Crystal, feral hogs, wild pigs, whatever you call them, they have been a problem in West Texas for quite some time now. However, new technology has been used to combat and trap the swine with the hopes of stagnating or even eliminating the problem. Catching feral hogs like these isn't easy, but the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Department hopes a new type of trap will do the trick. And all it takes is a click from your smartphone operator from home to capture the hogs. Taylor County Extension Agent Steve Estes talked about remote triggered traps that can be used from home while a phone notification can update you on what's biting. He used the, you know, the camera technology to be able to, with a motion detector, detection system and, and to be able to turn the camera on when there's movement in the trap, uh, that sends a signal to the person that's you know, operating the trap remotely. Uh, usually by the uh, uh, cell phone, they can see what the camera is seeing in the trap at, at uh, in live time, and then they can basically push a button and tell the trap to uh, shut the gate. Sometimes raccoons and deer can accidentally set the trap off and scare away hogs, which is why many hunters and trappers have begun using night vision and infrared vision to track the hog's movement. Those technologies that are out there on the market that that uh, uh, people can, can utilize uh, to be able to find uh, feral hogs or, or be able to see them you know, in the dark uh, without using a, a visible light uh, that might spook the, the, the feral pigs. But how do you get the hogs in the traps? The best way is to train them and make them comfortable eating near and inside the traps. Basically, you would leave the trap open um, or the gate open for a, for a period of time, and maybe days or even sometimes weeks, uh, to allow the hogs to go in and feed and feel comfortable going in and out of the trap, you know, where they're not scared of it. Uh, and then once you can you know accomplish that, then you can catch more really. Of course, these traps and vision technology can be pricey, with some night vision tech starting at six hundred dollars, while thermal heat vision can be nearly a grand. And if you do catch a hog. Just remember to not leave a camera inside as they can get feisty inside the cage. 